Hello, my friends. Welcome back. This is going to be a, a different kind of message. I uh, will use my platform to go against Pornhub. Pornhub and company, just like the title says, the evil of Pornhub and company. All pornographic sites are horrible because uh, they destroy lives. And uh, you're going to see what I'm going to share with you with this occasion. A name of a courageous girl that uh, she had her life destroyed by Pornhub in a different way. In a different way. You will see later on when I'm going to start talking. She is the victim. And uh, many like her. Pornhub is an entity of evilness. And every single pornographic site, they should be stripped off the internet. And those that dare to do something like this, to open pornographic sites, they should uh, pay the consequence. But we don't live uh, in a world that uh, is uh, into purity. We live in a world that embraces pornography, the filth of pornography. How many lives are destroyed? Even as I speak now, you will see, if you do a little research, uh, number one sites on the internet are the pornographic sites. They do the most uh, amount of money. We're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars. And this is blood money. This is blood money. Porn is not just uh, an innocent um, spend time. Porn is something that, uh, just like cancer, would crawl inside of you and uh, will not stop unless you ask help from the Lord. Up to uh, It will destroy you from the inside out. So I'm going to speak about the evil of Pornhub and Co. But you can apply this to every single pornographic site. Let's first pray. Lord Jesus, us as Christians, we are called to speak out against evil. If we have a platform, let's use that platform to speak out. We have no right to be silent. We have no right to speak Christianese while the world around us is dying literally. We need to speak out. Please, Lord, give us courage to open our mouth wide and to always condemn evil. Maybe souls will be woken up. But in the end, this world belongs to you. We're just going to present the truth. You are the one that convinces. You are the one that wake people up. Praise your holy name, now and forever. Amen. Let's read the Bible verse. As always, I'm using always Bible verses. They are very important because they will help us to understand where we're coming from. It will be our turning point every single time. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. We are called to expose darkness. And when you expose darkness, you'll be sucked into a spiritual battle. But uh, do not be afraid, because God is on your side. When you fight against the darkness, the devil obviously will will uh, see you as uh, an adversary. Before we meet this kind of believers, I'm not sure if I can call believers someone that is silent, someone that doesn't stand for nothing. But when we are this way, when we are churchgoers and we go to church, we sit silently and sheepishly on our chair and we listen to someone that opens the Bible for us. And then we have some tears in our eyes because obviously we're touched. We go home. And uh, the movie cuts there at home. We carry on doing our thing from Monday to Saturday. But when we stand up for something, when we live that kind of Christian life that doesn't depend on our pastor opening our Bible, but depends uh, on God and us, on His Spirit being alive inside of us, and us fighting against evil. Let's speak about Pornhub. Pornhub, the king of pornographic sites. It has been called this way. And the list of victims, people, children, children that are abused, 
And then the very abusers, they upload pictures, they upload pornographic movies there, and they make a large amount of money. They are evil and they need to be exposed. Many Christians, sadly, they are addicted to pornography and they go to these sites. Maybe to this very site they go and they feed their addiction there because there's something that is missing to them. Why someone will choose to be addicted to pornography if uh, nothing is missing to them? Maybe boredom is the beginning, the first step into jumping into this field, which is called pornography. But then uh, it evolves into something uglier. The vast majority of those that are addicted, they are addicted not because of boredom, but because there's something in their life that is missing. Let's talk about Pornhub. I'm going to talk about a girl. As I'm a father of girls, this is very personal for me as well. I have two girls. And uh, when I read about Rose Kalemba, a victim of Pornhub, at the age of 14, Rose Kalemba was beaten, stabbed and raped while her attackers filmed the entire harrowing experience. The videos of her being uh, abused were uploaded to Pornhub. And um, then uh, Rose Assault was immortalized for millions of viewers because this video of her being uh, abused has been seen by millions of people. Rose, still only a teenager, was subjected to harassment, bullying, and a never-ending fear that those around her had seen her abuse. She wondered if uh, they had uh, taken pleasure from watching her attack with the uh, video titles like Teen Getting Destroyed or Teen Crying and Getting Slapped Around. The videos remained live on Pornhub for over six months, while a 14-year-old Rose begged and pleaded with the company to take that rape down repeatedly, informing them that she was only a minor and that the videos depicted child sexual abuse. No one answered to her pleas until she impersonated a lawyer, threatening legal action if the videos were not taken down. It was uh, only then that Pornhub deleted the videos, but the damage has already been done. Now, this assault happened in 2009, but she still hears stories of women and children with similar experiences whose various abuses are filmed and uploaded to Pornhub without their consent. Taking the videos down is almost never an easy task. Pornhub has profited of rape, trafficking, and abuse of countless others like this innocent teenager, Rose. In fact, Pornhub and the owner of it, MindGeek's entire business model is predicted on and built to profit from rampant sexual abuse and exploitation. Pornhub is a multi-billion dollar enterprise and they will not be going down without utilizing every resource they have. They're still on. Even now as we speak, this abomination, this site called Pornhub is still on. That means it's protected by someone in charge. Politicians, I don't know. There's always dirty money involving this kind of things. Pornhub is still on. But we cannot just stand idly while Pornhub and other sites, the same like Pornhub, blatantly and brazenly promote and profits from suffering of others. This girl, Rose Kalemba, she went even to BBC to tell her story, which helped lead the way in the international pressure against Pornhub and inspired more survivors to come forward and share their stories, as uh, they did. And there was even a New York Times article called The Children of Pornhub much headway has been made in tackling the foundation that have tried to hold websites like Pornhub above the law. It's vital to recognize that uh, these bad faith entities do not judge or verify age or consent in any videos on their sites. 
phone hub itself does not require age verification for any person to upload pornographic videos inherently making porn websites like Pornhub a target for sex traffickers child abusers and others sharing predatory non-consensual videos of course this a uh, Pornhub they will claim they have safeguards in place to prevent child sexual abuse imagery from appearing on their website but still that and all forms of sexually abusive material flourish on its platform even if uh, this porn hub was in the business of preventing abuse from appearing on their site is clear they do not have any interest in protecting anyone let alone children from the harm of pornography and instead they have fostered a culture of vicious voyeurism even to this day this child rose kalemba she has no way of knowing where all her videos have ended up and which strangers have seen the worst moments of her life we are called to speak out we are called together to fight against this evil we are not going to be able to eradicate evil but we will be able to speak against it and one day will come one day will come when all the filth of this world will not exist anymore but brothers i'm talking to you even sisters some of you i don't know you personally but i know in my spirit that there are people going to church that are watching pornography brother if you see this verse that I, I put here in my message. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11. Take no part in the unfruitful work of darkness, but instead expose them. Brother, if you are addicted to porn, and you go on Pornhub or any other site, think about the abuse. Uh, think about the suffering so, of many that uh, are there. So many of them, they are not willingly participants to that debauchery and ugliness that they display. Think about this, brother. I know that you struggle inside of your heart. I've been in darkness, too. I know doesn't mean to struggle. Come to God and God can set you free. And then you'll be passionate as well about speaking against evilness. You'll have as well the desire to not stand the... Uh, they're silent and defeated you will fight again and again just like me to raise awareness against evilness sister there are many i know there are many sisters as well that they are watching pornography you don't have to carry on this way there is forgiveness there is salvation there is a restoration for you as well let's all wake up if there is any christians that are still entangled in this evil in this wickedness called pornography i understand you i've been there in darkness only god can restore only god can set free but i will do something i will stretch my hand and pray i pray for everyone that uh, struggles with pornography everyone that they're in silence because they're ashamed they don't have the courage to speak out. They don't have the courage to ask for help. They try on their own. I spoke today with a young man and he said that he has his own addiction, his own battles, he struggles, and he fails. And he tries again and he fails again. And he said to me, brother, I'm a hypocrite because I claim to be a Christian. But then I sin again and again, but I carry on fighting. If you carry on fighting, you're not a hypocrite. If you still have the desire in you to fight against evil, you're not a hypocrite. You're a Christian that fights evil, the evil that is inside of himself, but doesn't know that you don't need to fight the battle all alone. That is the Lord. Exodus 14, 14 says that we should give every battle to the Lord, even if we are addicted to something so ugly and so horrible like pornography. Those sites, they are festering with evil and wickedness. Children getting raped young women that they are barely at the age of uh, so-called maturity the state claims that uh, we are mature at 18 years old that's not true we shouldn't be considered mature at 18. 
Maybe 25 would be a better age. Over 20, at that age we're still children, at that age we're still so impulsive, at that age we're still so emotional, at that age we still make so many mistakes. I could tell you the list of teenagers that I advise, and they destroy their life exactly at this age, when the state considered them already mature. Because they said, I'm 18, that's it, I'm mature, I can do whatever I please. And then they destroyed their lives. Let me pray for everyone that is hooked into this evil called pornography. Lord, I pray for every single soul that uh, they are hooked onto pornography. I pray for every single soul that uh, they are broken inside. Pornography has a grip on their heart, and they go there in their room, in front of their computer, they turn off the light, and they are hooked there in front uh, of the screen, and they watch. And as they watch, they have a pleasure just for a few seconds, few minutes, and then they are broken inside, and then they are crying. And they say, I've done it again. I failed again into this. I, I wish I'd be different. But then they still, after a while, they still do the same, and they're still broken, and they are desperate, and they don't know what to do. I pray for every single soul, either woman, either man. I pray for all of them that they find the salvation. They will find the, the light. And they will find the restoration. If only they will give their battle to the Lord. Exodus 14, 14. I pray Exodus 14, 14 upon their life. The battle belongs to the Lord. You only need to be still. Receive this in the name of Jesus. Binge in the word of God. Allow prayer and fasting to be a part of your life. I pray that you, whoever listens to this, Whoever will have this message in front of them and they will hear, I pray that they will understand this truth, that they don't have to fight this battle on their own. There is the Lord. They only need to come to Him and they will be set free. And they will have fire inside of their heart to fight evil. Open, open your heart and receive in the name of Jesus. If you believe this is a reality in your life, if you struggle with pornography, if you struggle with something else, any kind of addiction, not just pornography, addiction to pornography and masturbation, but if you struggle with something else, come to the Lord, give to Him your burden, allow Him to fight your battle, and claim His promise in Jeremiah 29, 11. One of His promises from many promises that you find in the Word of God. I know my plans for you, says the Lord, to give you a hope, and a future, not to harm you, not to destroy you. This addiction, it's so demonic because it's extremely hard to break. Every addiction is demonic, but especially sexual addiction. Some, they struggle with pornography and masturbation. Some, they struggle with adultery. Some, they struggle with homosexuality. Some, they struggle with many, many other addictions, but this kind of addiction, they have a more deeper satanic root. No wonder the Lord uh, has a special kind of um, looking down on these sins because they are sins that we do them in our body. That's why he sees them with such, there is no acceptance whatsoever. He doesn't accept no sin under any circumstances, but sexual sins, they have a special degree of despicableness. Let's fight in this way, allowing the Lord to take over. The Lord will fight our battle. And uh, if you are struggling so much, if you're still in front of your computer and still porn hub, there is so such a powerful temptation. Again, think about the souls, those poor women that are abused. Thousands upon thousands of videos uploaded there are with women that are abused. With the women that are... Uh, they went to parties, they get drunk, and then they've been raped, abused. And uh, they say evil people, they uploaded videos with them getting abused on in the internet. At least think about this. So many, they take their pleasure out of the pain and sufferings and brokenness of poor innocent victims. Maybe that will be a little bit of help in uh, anyone that is addicted in anyone that finds himself in front of the computer watching Pornhub. Pornhub, yeah, but I think 
I have my reasons to believe that vast majority of pornographic sites, they upload this kind of trash with women getting abused. Thousands and thousands of videos. I don't know how society accepts something like this, but if uh, they are okay with killing and dismembering unborn in their mother's womb, they don't have no problem with this kind of garbage being sold to young people, even children, 10 years old. Someone said that 10 years old is the age now in which uh, a child has first access to pornography, first contact with pornography. Parents, be careful. Be careful with your children. Be careful what they are watching. Be careful what kind of sites they will uh, look to because uh, innocence is something so precious. Once we lose it, us that we lose our innocence already, we know. Once we lose our innocence, it's hard to take it back. That's it for now. I hope... Uh, you understood how much it hurts me and I am so much full of anger, holy anger I could call it against this evilness that the Pornhub and other pornographic sites they promulgate. But they are not uh, the ones that uh, we should limit ourselves and calling them out. Governments of this world, they allow them to exist. They tolerate them. Why is that? Because they take a lot of money. They put into their own pockets dirty money. That's why they allow this evil to promulgate, to carry on. They have interest in, in allowing it. Many times I said to my friends on my Facebook post, the Lord is your friend. The Lord is the one that cares for you. The Lord is the one that loves you, not the government. Government allows uh, every kind of abomination and, and evil under the sun. Uh, government is not your friend. The Lord is your friend. The Lord is the one that in which you should put your trust in. The Lord is the one in which 100% uh, you should count on and love Him with every single fiber of your heart, of your being, and of your soul. Carry on fighting for what you know is right and do not be silent. You're not allowed to be silent. Speak out, speak out. And even if, as I said, we will not be able to erase the evil from this world, we'll make a difference in our own circle, in our own limited circle. My family, your family brother, your family sister, your close friends. Little by little, we will build up our own circle, in which we will be able to contain our values. We'll be able to contain what we believe in, and uh, life, uh, at least there, in our own circle, will be way better and safer. God bless you all, and thank you so much for listening. And up to next time, stay close. Thank you for blessing me with your presence. And don't forget, always share my videos. God bless you.